The COVID-19 pandemic has upended the American economy. And while the biotech industry is developing and testing breakthroughs at a rapid pace in response to this crisis, the sector upon which the world depends is itself feeling the impact of the current economic downturn, especially the emerging and small biotech companies that are the lifeblood of our sector. These companies are what makes bio so unique and without them, innovation would stall. Considering that this is a novel virus that has been here for just around seven months, it's astonishing that there are currently 661 drug programs in development related to the coronavirus. Remarkably, 214 of those medicines are already in human testing. We're seeing the launch of 10 to 20 new clinical programs a week at this point. 70% of these COVID medicines are being developed by small companies. 50% of the pipeline is being developed by U.S. companies. Since COVID-19 hit the United States, Bio has been at the forefront of advocating on behalf of startups and small and emerging biotechs. Just days after the first reported deaths in the U.S., we created a task force to coordinate our members' efforts with the federal government. As Congress has worked to stabilize the economy, BIO has pushed to ensure our companies can take advantage of the payroll protection program and not be precluded from critical payroll tax deferral. We continue to stress to lawmakers the importance of proposals that would allow startups to immediately utilize their net operating losses and R&D tax credits. Given the centrality of our sector and small companies in particular, in leading the innovation that will end this crisis and cure other deadly diseases, we must ensure funding is not canceled or delayed. That is why BIO is making the case for enhanced incentives for companies involved in producing and manufacturing COVID-19 medicines. For startups that have gone public in the last five years, their filing status as an emerging growth company provides much needed reduced regulatory compliance and cost. BIO is calling for a pause on all COVID fighting companies set to lose this status this year, and we're making the case on Capitol Hill. This move alone would save up to $800,000 per company in costly and unnecessary audit fees, money that can instead be spent on medical research. Every day, our team is discussing proposals like these with our companies in BIO's committees. More than ever, being an active BIO member is critical in guiding BIO's advocacy. BIO membership gives your growing company a voice in legislative discussions on Capitol Hill. Our elected officials need to hear your voice. And at BIO, we're proud to help shape and amplify it in the corridors of power.